side by side comparisons. Uh, if you if you look at something with the same debit spread up front and the same amount of risk, the uh, unbalanced butterfly is usually a cheaper absolute cost. In fact, I'd say almost always. The broken wing butterfly though gives you a little bit higher theta for the amount of risk that you're putting on. The broken wing butterflies I've noticed have given you a little bit lower delta. The unbalance gives you higher. That's not necessarily uh, a bet. A, detriment or a benefit, you know, you might want to lean it one way or the other depending on what the market is. So in some cases, if you want a little more delta, you might go to the unbalanced because you want a more positive delta or something. And from a protection standpoint, the broken wing, like I just mentioned, uh, it's wider trap, so it does give you downside protection a little bit better. Part of that is also because usually it's, there's lower delta in it or a slightly negative delta. The unbalanced has better upside protection primarily because of the lower cost. That, uh, that upper wing is lifted closer to zero, if not above it. I found the unbalanced to be a lot more sensitive to volatility. So if you go up and volatility drops, they seem to perform really well, but yeah. uh, not so well the other way. 